Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome to the video. I've had three Etsy shops suspended, but guess what? I managed to get all three back and I'm glad I did because one year later, these shops are making me passive income on autopilot. So if you're in a similar situation, it may not be the end just yet. I've made videos on this before and since then many sellers have reached out about their experiences surrounding Etsy suspensions. So I'm making this updated video today for 2022 with some new insight. I'll be going through all the reasons I've come across as to why sellers get suspended and potential solutions to try if you're in the same boat. Because as we've all seen from my example and many others in the comments of my previous videos, it is possible to get your account back in many situations. Etsy suspension is such a big problem that people are literally making money off of fraudulent services that claim they can get your account back. From the comment sections of the last videos are posted, I know there's probably going to be an explosion of scam bots in the comments asking you to contact certain accounts on WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram or various other social media. So if you do see these, do me a favour and report them. If you find this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you get notified when I post new videos and let's get started. To summarize the official Etsy house rules, sellers may be suspended if they violate any of these terms. You've got to be over 18 to sell on Etsy. You can only sell handmade, vintage or craft supply items. Your listing should accurately represent the item being sold. You actually need to deliver the item that was bought. Respecting other Etsy sellers, so that's mainly forums or DMs. Disclosing all your shop contributors, including members and production partners. No discrimination or hate speech. No fee avoidance, so pay your fees and taxes. You can get kicked off for an overdue balance. No intellectual property infringing, that includes certain keywords which could be flagged in their database as trademarked and no illegal or fraudulent activity. I think this summarizes the most important points. If you want more detail, I would recommend reading through the house rules, which is something you can do in your own time. If one of your shops gets suspended as a result of breaking these rules, it's likely all shops linked to your IP address will also get terminated. I was about ready to say goodbye to my full-time job and have our Etsy shop be my full-time job. I even had a shop that I'd had open for four years. They shut down all of my Etsy shops. They shut all of them down. And you won't be able to open any more shops, at least from the same IP address. It may not just be your IP, but if you happen to try and open a shop with the same email or payment details, those may get linked up in their system and that could result in you getting terminated again. I'd recommend you get in touch with Etsy, even if you think this is the case anyway. I'll be talking about how to do that later, but just know that chances are you may not be able to get it back. You may or may not receive an email from Etsy telling you why. I know I didn't for any of my shops, but one day I just logged in and saw this little red notice in the corner that said I was suspended. From then on, you can't receive new orders and all your listings will be taken off the marketplace. You won't be able to see your reviews or change your listings until you get unsuspended. You can still log in though and read messages or issue refunds. But why might sellers still get suspended even when they're following the rules and just going about their business seemingly having done nothing wrong? Pretty nasty surprise that can show up for various reasons. While older accounts are less likely to get suspended, it can affect sellers at every stage, whether they've just started their shop or they've been selling on Etsy for years and unfortunately relying on Etsy as a major income source. From my own experience and talking to other sellers, one of the most common reasons for this happening is a glitch which automatically suspends you for adding a production partner. In their house rules, Etsy requires that you disclose whether you're using a third party fulfillment service. So that includes print on demand production companies and other sort of drop shipping like services. I added my production partner Printful to my very first shop and it was suspended a couple days later. I emailed Etsy and also submitted an appeal on the website. I got it unsuspended six days later and I got an email telling me that I was unsuspended. I haven't had issues on that account since. I suspected the production partner was the issue but obviously I couldn't put my finger on it. Now fast forward a couple months and I'm starting my second Etsy shop which I opened just for the sake of the Etsy print on demand tutorial. I added the production partner and got suspended about an hour after I finished recording this video. This 
time I suspected it was probably because I've gotten a shop suspended from my IP before, so maybe that's why it happened. Again, I sent an email to Etsy, submitted an appeal and got unsuspended two days later. That shop's been fine ever since. Now my third shop, I intended to be a digital products only shop. I opened that after the second one from the same IP address and it was completely fine until one day I decided I might as well connect Printful, my production partner, just in case I decide to start selling physical products on this shop. And guess what? Immediately suspended. You know the drill by now, emailed Etsy, they apologized, I got my shop back. Tells me that probably the production partner is the issue that's triggering these automatic suspensions. From what I've seen, so many Etsy print on demand sellers are getting suspended at some point and this is unfortunately just something to anticipate if you're selling print on demand products. There's speculation that this is a glitch in the Etsy system, of which they have many, but luckily it seems many sellers who get suspended for this reason are able to get their shops back. The second reason sellers can get suspended without breaking any rules is accessing accounts from different countries or having multiple IPs access your account. For example, having your VA login as you from their address. As far as IP, I haven't had issues accessing my shop from different IP addresses, but I've been messaged by sellers who got suspended after logging in from a different country. Again, this isn't to say that you definitely will get suspended if you do this, it's just that certain people have been. The third reason is getting a lot of negative reviews. If you're a shop with hundreds of reviews and you get the odd few customers complaining, then it's not gonna be as big a deal because they won't drag down your average rating. But if you're a new shop and one of your first reviews is less than four stars, then it's time to watch out. Overall shop reviews, not individual product reviews are shown on all your listings. This is also a reason why it's important to build as many good reviews as possible in the early stages so they can sort of buffer out any negative reviews which you might get later on. You can DM to ask for reviews from buyers if you have to, reply to all the messages and generally try to keep your customer service in check. In my thank you message to buyers I actually have a section with this massive headline saying before leaving a negative review please read this and in that I basically tell them to message me first instead of leaving any reviews less than five stars so we can sort out what went wrong. I've never gotten a review less than four stars so I'm guessing that works. If you want any more tips from me when it comes to reviews reviews, how to get better reviews, how to get more reviews. I have a whole video on this which I will link up in the eye. The next reason is sharing an IP address or Wi-Fi network with a previously banned account or using a VPN. This is why I don't really like logging into Etsy from public places and I use the Etsy app if I have to access my account from mobile. The last reason I can think of is if you're reported by a customer or another seller. Etsy seems to rely on automation systems when it comes to suspensions so unfortunately if someone just doesn't like you or starts troll reporting random shops, yours might get caught up in that regardless of whether the claim was legit or not. So those are the possible reasons for getting suspended, but what can you do about it? There's two main things I would suggest you try. The first is to send an email to both integrity at etsy.com and support at etsy.com. I'll leave a link to the email I sent them in the description so you can pretty much copy and paste it. Obviously fill out your own information to suit your shop and then also submit an appeal on the website. The stuff you write there can be the same as in your email. I'll link the web address down below below as well. Just state facts, don't try to argue beg or be passive aggressive. After that, just wait a couple days and you may get an email like this. Apparently a human does review these appeals and most of the time their decision is final. If they don't reply, try to log on anyway a few days later and chances are you may be unsuspended, they just haven't replied. But if not, then send the email and appeal again. If you still don't get a reply or they reply with this, you're probably better off selling somewhere else and not wasting any more time on this issue. If all this seems like treading on eggshells, then I totally understand. I feel the same way about it to be honest. Etsy are pretty unclear about what actually gets you suspended and they clearly have some things to fix in the system. Everyone's experiences have been pretty inconsistent, like some people get suspended for who knows why, others are breaking rules left and right and still allowed to sell on the platform. It's hardly a fair system, even if you do get your account back after being suspended, your listings probably won't be ranking as well as they were previously and you will have lost a lot of revenue and sort of momentum during that period. The best advice I can give is diverse diversify your income, build a brand and treat Etsy more like an extra free traffic source rather than having it as your sole source of traffic. This goes for any third party e-commerce platform really, like you don't own the platform so there's always the risk of 
getting suspended or something else happening. Remember to keep backup files of all your listings. Don't be using Etsy as a cloud drive. You can export orders, listings and customer details as CSV files in the back end of your shop. I've just done a video on how to import your Etsy store to Shopify. It's a very simple process actually. So uh, I would recommend you having a second home for your business in addition to Etsy. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.